Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and for today's Tableau video, what I wanna cover is how to write a calculation or multiple calculations to compare quarter-to-date values versus previous quarter-to-date values. So I'm just going to use some Superstore data, and we're gonna compare um, super, uh, I'm sorry, subcategory sales the, this quarter-to-date versus last quarter-to-date. So the first thing that I wanna do is I want to create a calculated field, and this will just be my, uh, I'll just call it sales QTD. So this is the relatively easy part of this. I would say um, if the date difference, date diff in quarters between my start date, uh, it's got a field called date here, and today equals zero, then sales. Okay, so in theory, uh, we could probably just do a quick test on this. This, if I was to put, um, think about the easiest way to do this. Give me a quick second here to do a little test. I'm gonna do the date value quarter and make it discrete so I get these nice labels. And then if I do sales quarter to date on text here, I should only see sales for 2021 Q1 because I'm filming this in February. I'm sorry, uh, Q1 2022, oh my gosh, baby brain. Um, and I'm filming this in February of 2022, so that looks good. So now I want the previous quarter to date uh, calculation. So I'm just gonna duplicate and edit what we just did there. So there's really two important parts of this. So I'm gonna zoom in. So first of all, if the date difference in quarters is one, then that would equate uh, right now to 2021 Q4, but this is actually gonna give me all of 2021 Q4. So I actually need to think through this a little bit further, which is how do I make sure it's only through, you know, whatever day of the quarter it is. So right now it's February 23rd. So I would need to make sure it's not keeping data later than, if I'm thinking of this right, November 23rd. Okay, so this is where things get a little tricky. Um, try this, uh, try a couple ideas here. So I would say the date needs to be, the date needs to be one quarter difference and the date needs to be less than or equal to, and now I'm going to say date add quarter minus one to today. So not only does it need to be last quarter, but the date also needs to be less than or equal to today's date minus one quarter. So again, I think that should be February, I'm sorry, today's February 23rd. I think that should be November 23rd. So two quick things, let's hit okay here and just check this out and make sure that this value is only showing up in 2021 Q4. That's the good news, that part looks good. Um, so now let's flip this to be showing all days. So if I scroll down now, I think the previous quarter to date is the first column. Yeah. So the previous quarter to date sales would start October 1st, 2021. That's good. That's the uh, beginning of Q4 2021. And it ends on November 23rd, 2021. Perfect. So I'm gonna pop this up here one more time and just know also that in the, the description of this video or if you're watching the blog and the text down below, um, I will put the code for these calculations so you can just copy and paste them and, and edit them as necessary. So now for you know comparison purposes, you know it's really whatever I want, right? If I just wanna say sales difference, you know, QTD versus PQTD, maybe just something like this. What is my sum of quarter to date sales minus my sum of previous quarter to date sales. And what may be a good idea here, depending on your data and the frequency of your you know, transactional values, you may wanna wrap these in the ZN function, which just says, if there's a null value, return a zero. The reason that that could be important is back to our original concept of comparing sales uh, across different subcategories. You know, if for some reason one of these subcategories had no sales this quarter to date, I don't want there to be a null. I want to see, okay, well, then it's that far behind, you know, the previous quarter. 
So now we can see, okay, who's on the ups, who's on the downs. So copier storage furnishings are doing pretty well this quarter to date versus last quarter to date, whereas binders, accessories, and supplies are dragging behind. So that's a quick dive into quarter to date versus previous quarter to date in Tableau. Um, hope that was helpful and uh, feel free to drop questions or comments below. And we look forward to catching you next week here for more Tableau tips on the One Number YouTube channel.